Kelsey and it's Becky and we're the Sorry Girls. And we are back at IKEA doing another IKEA as is upcycle challenge. One of our favorite things because just we get to go to IKEA. I love IKEA, although it's bittersweet because I end up buying more than I intended to. Whoops. Whoops. I don't think we really have a theme this week. We're gonna go in, see what inspires us, figure something out, and then transform into something way cooler. I also wanted to let you guys know to subscribe. And I also want to ask if any of you are like IKEA employees, mm -hmm. know the IKEA inside outs. When is the best time to go to the IKEA as a section? Is it like the end of a season? Is it like the first of the month? Like when, when is it? Is it early morning? When do they put things there? Mm -hmm. Or does it matter at all? I don't know. Just wondering, it might help us out in the future. Okay, let's go look. Let's do it. That couch is cute. It is cute. It's not like I would do anything to it or need it, but as is, it's cute. As is, it's cute, as is. As is. Oh my God. <gasps> Girl. Oh my I just, I mean, I just own that already and it's so good. It's so bitter. Because I paid whatever full price was. All right, what else we got here? Macrame, but not. A giant macrame pot holder, but it holds the chair and you sit in it. New spray paint tent. There's no back. <laughs> that is not helpful. Oh. We usually spend like eight bucks on one. But do you need them? Oh my god, cute kitty origami art. Need. Oh, is that is that like a shower? Oh my god. Oh, it feels like canopies for outside. Oh. Perfect. It's $10. <laughs> I'm gonna go look at the small things section again in case there's anything like peg wise that could be useful now that I know what I might be doing. That's five bucks. I could totally clip a light to it. All right, we're back. And we got trellises. Woof, woof. So these actually surprisingly aren't even that expensive from Ikea if you wanted this anyways, but we got them for around $10. In the as is section, we got three of them because it was just such a good deal. And I was feeling inspired by the trellis. So we're gonna do some cool stuff with them. I'm like your creepy neighbor peeking over your fence. What are you guys doing? Is your barbecue better than mine? <laughs> so we got three of these. I think I'm gonna take two and make something. Mm -hmm. And you can take one and make something. Yeah, I already know what that something is and it's gonna be really cool. Me too. I think these are gonna be great for dorms. Boop, boop, back to school, what up? Organizing slash shared spaces slash affordable to make. Ooh. So my idea for my trellis is to expand it and use it as a giant, like almost floor to ceiling wall organizer or like pegboard type thing. You can hang stuff on, get organized, and it's gonna be really, really, really cute. So the first step is actually I'm gonna paint this because while I love wood things normally, I think it'd be fun to do it in a color. And you guys always say we do neutrals, so I'm branching out and we're gonna do like a dark gray this time. I guess gray is a neutral. That is a neutral. It's a dark, it's not white and it's not beige. Branching out. <laughs> so I'm gonna open this up and get painting with a brush and a roller. So while that dries, I'm gonna make the little pegs to go on my wall rack. So I'm using some 7 8 inch dowel and I'm gonna cut them to about three inches in length and just cut a couple and then we can paint them. So I painted these a really nice robin's egg blue for a fun pop of color. Now that they're dry, they look like this and they're so cute. They remind me of little like if Tiffany sold lipsticks. Oh, this would be them, right? So these are gonna act as the pegs for our trellis now. I'm gonna have to screw them on. This might be a little bit tricky, but I think we can do it together. I'm gonna have to put them underneath the trellis, put the trellis on top, and then put a screw through the back. So I think as long as you line it up carefully and go slowly, you'll be fine. And the screws I'm using have disappeared. They're right there. Too right, yeah. <laughs> I'm using ones that are actually pretty long because I want them to A, go through both layers of the trellis and also go in the peg, you know, enough so that it's holding it in place. Yeah, is it working? Dude, okay, it's not that hard. You can do it. Cool. Nailed it. Okay, all my little pegs are on. And they're really cute, I like this color combo. I did seven, but of course you can do as many or as little as you want. So the last thing I had in mind actually came from another Ikea As Is product we found, and that is this Hektar lamp, and it was only $5, which is super, super affordable. So I'm gonna attach it to the top of the trellis, and then it can light up all my items. Huh. You can't put it on an angle, right? And then tilt that? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so I screwed that lamp on. It was actually really simple. And the best part is that I could put it on an angle and then it swivels so it still points down straight. This is gonna look so cute hung on the wall. I cannot wait to style it with all my pegs. 
And the best part we actually realized is although there's screws in it, it's still like kind of collapsible. So uh, that student life, if you need to make things smaller because you're moving or whatnot, that's great. All you need to do is put two screws in the wall when you go to hang this so that it doesn't collapse when it's leaning on your wall. Or removable sticky hooks that are really strong because those are great. We use them for everything. So impressed with how this one turned out. I can't wait to see what Kelsey ends up doing, um, so stay tuned for that. So for my trellis IKEA upcycle, I'm taking two and I'm gonna make a room divider. So first I'm gonna figure out how big I want my room dividers to be, you know, tall enough to hide a person, I guess. That's, what's the point of a room divider? I don't know, hide, hide people. First I'm gonna figure out how big I want my trellises or how big I want my room divider to stand. And then I'm gonna take some one by two pieces of wood and use my miter saw to just cut them on an angle. So then I'm building this frame for each of my room divider stands. So I've now cut out all of my pieces. What I end up having is four smaller pieces, which are 27 and a half on the long side. And I have four longer pieces, which are 72 and three quarters on the long edge. So I'm gonna be using two shorter pieces and two longer pieces to make my frame for each of my room divider panels. Now that I have them all cut out, my next step is to sand them. And then I'm going to be using, I think a staple gun to attach them to my trellis. We shall see. So I've nailed on my frame onto both of my trellises. Looks a little something like this. And I obviously want everything to match, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and stain my frame a similar brown stain color. Welcome to my garden of Kelsey. So these are looking good. My next step is to add a hinge so they stand up together, hopefully. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> Wow. Wow. The hinges are on, the room divider works, it stands up on its own, and the last step is to add some coverage to this so it's actually a privacy screen and a room divider. I picked up this at Ikea, also in the as-is section. This is $10, regularly $30. It's like a big like awning cover that you would attach to your patio. And I'm gonna use it as fabric for the back of my room divider. My fabric is on for complete privacy. Let's see how this thing looks. How do you think that went? I think it went well. This is probably like my new favorite IKEA as is. I, like I love this series so much. All of them become my favorite after we do them. And like dorm rooms. Goals. Goals. You're going to Ikea anyways for your dorm. Like, let's we be know honest. you are. <laughs> so you can pick up one of these and like make a little something, something. Speaking of, in a little bit time, we're doing another dorm room makeover series. So I want you guys to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss when those come out because they're gonna be gone. You might see some of your fave DIYs make appearances in people's room makeovers because we gotta keep that budget down. But that's even more fun when you're like, I remember when you made that. If you liked this series, we've done it before. There's a playlist linked at the end so you can watch all of them. If you guys like this video, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. Make sure you actually press that subscribe button because it means a lot to us and it helps grow the fam. And turn on the no notification bell. That one. Yeah, that that bell. Goodbye. Okay, Goodbye. Okay,